Hello and welcome to round two back nine coverage of the 2022 Michigan Professional State Championships presented by Discraft, hosted by Wolfpack Dis. And speaking of Wolfpack Dis, that's my company. I'm Brian Papa Wolf Frawley, and with me is Nick Gill. Excited to have you, Nick. Thanks for being here. It's always great to get a professional player's perspective since I'm a super am. Uh, we're uh, here at beautiful Brewer Park in Michigan. Andrew Marweed is at minus 19. Luke Taylor and Nick Gill are at minus 17. And Nick is at minus 7. A little challenge on the front nine for Nick Wassel, but hopefully he recovers. Nick Gill started off hot, though. Yeah, we got a battle going on here. Love to see it. Uh, here we go with the first hole of the back nine, which is hole six, because of our interesting setup. It's a 579 foot par four. You gotta get through the gap when you initially tee and looking to land in a safe area so you can attack the scorable green. For, if, for being one of the shorter par fours, this is definitely one you can go fairway driver off the tee, you can go fairway driver on your second shot, you can try to push it really really far off the tee and you know maybe get a putter approach but it's like Andy goes high speed doesn't like it it's yeah he hits a tree you can hear the click and he goes a little bit left Luke looking to push it up there I think as far as he can definitely just rips it the yeah. glasses fly off once again yeah that's a signature hole six shot for him and he's passed all the trees. Yeah, he lands in the fairway nicely. Gets a little a little root love. Going force here. I'm trying to kind of push it up there just as far as I can. Sneak around it. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Find some, find some fairway. You know, just hit that tree there. But still have a look at the green. Nick with a big old lefty line. Yeah, so he actually goes uh, just to the left of the initial gap that Luke, Andy, and I are trying to hit and pushes that hyzer right to the short pad, which is a good play. Andrew with a, looks like a turnover shot coming over the left side of the fairway. Yeah, That's he's got to go big anhyzer over all that stuff on the left. Yeah. So he's looking to just get up and down for par. Zone here. Got a great kind of natural backboard oh. behind the basket, but unfortunately you got tree nied. The last one. Yeah. Basket does finish uphill. A little bit of a back backdrop, backstop, whatever you want to call it. And Nick finds a tree as well, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> I think it might have just pushed him inside circle two. Luke way up here. Looking to correct from yesterday, I believe. And then slides it up there nicely. Yeah, he, he, do, he does the correction. He understood the assignment, if you will. Andrew with a forehand Anheuser approach. Almost runs that bucket. Leaves him with a great putt. About 55, 50-ish. Ooh! Ooh, walking yeah. that down for the that birdie. Was, that was great. Super pumped on that one. Shows no emotion, though, on the outside. Oh. None. Your fearless competitor. Okay. Thanks for this there, replay. Yeah. Definitely in the moment. Sponsored by uh, Nick's Hot Putter, which is a crazy tough challenger, correct? Yeah, Jawbreaker CT Challey. There you go. It's a 2021 Ledgestone, I believe. Love to see it. Nick just uh, leaves it a little bit short on that one. I have Andrew. Ooh. Just kind of fired through. Yeah, not sure if that one stuck to his uh, hand a little bit there. Luke gets his birdie. Great way to start the back nine along with you. Yeah, well done from Luke. Very routine. Nick uh, gets par there. We have Andy tapping in for bogey. There That's we rare. go. Rare bogey. Yeah, rare bo bogey from a very controlled player. We're going to move on to hole seven. Uh, it's by, sponsored by Icon Realty. 
You'll notice on the right side the whole way you'll see white flags. That does mark OB. It's more of a pace of play OB than anything. On your initial drive you want to either make it through this gap or go all the way around the left side landing in this open area and then trying to challenge the green by either throwing wide left and attacking in right with a right hand forehand if you will or left hand backhand or taking the same flight as the drone and challenging that tunnel up the gap. Luke stepping up here. I think he's gonna go nuke. Glasses flew off again. That's a sign of a good drive, probably. Clips the tree, but <clears throat> it doesn't matter. I'm going way over stable for us here. Just trying to see if I can match Luke. I'll have a low. Yeah, but you land in a in the open area. Yep, it's in the open. I can throw a big forehand from there. Anthony Nick? going. Oh, sorry, Nick. Nick goes roller here and just tries to crash through, and it works out. I uh, haven't seen that one before, but we'll take it all day. That's uh, probably about three hundred some feet to the pin. And Andrew goes super safe. Make sure that he doesn't have to worry about that OB on the right by taking the forehand line around the bushes. He's crushing it through that gap. I'm going force here. You're trying to crash through the canopy. There's the canopy and there's the crash. Yeah, that, uh, that branch, especially in the summertime, can... If you hit that, you're automatically outside of the circle. I think I got just inside on that one, though. A little penetration. Ooh, settle down. Great approach from Nick. Yeah, that'll be that'll be a good good 20 feet for him. Andrew's swinging it wide and hoping to kind of skip towards that bucket. Yeah, perfect spot. Settle. Ooh, a little back door and a roll at it. Love to see it. He's definitely trying to be just left of that uh, short pad off the tee, so. And Luke going through the tunnel on a little anti forehand and says, look at this tester shot. I got yeah, it. He went very understable putter. I haven't seen him throw that at all, ever, and he just pulled it out of the bag. Yeah, speaking of pulling it out of the bag, great birdie there. Yeah, that one feels good. Nice little contested straddle putt there. Oh... Just a little high for Nick. Hope we can get that in there for par. There we go. Luke and Andy discussing who can tap out first. There we go. Oh, Luke, what a gentleman. And hole eight. This is a 420 foot uphill. A uh, pretty wide open shot, uh, definitely one you want to get out here, and uh... Yeah, this one plays as a bonus. It, it's kind of just on the edge for some players, and you know, the lead card here, we're, we're trying to get it inside the circle, but easier said than done sometimes when it's right there in front of you and you gotta attack. Luke hangs it out nice and wide. Plenty of time to come back. And yeah, almost looks like a little ace run from the tee. Yep. You know, he lands it inside the circle. Going over stable force here. Honestly, tries to try to follow suit with what Luke threw. Kept a little low, though. Flare. Nah, the long stuff got you. Yep, just held in the, the long grass there. A couple feet higher. Yeah. Doesn't like it. Yeah, it looks like he turned it over. Made that same mistake yesterday too, if I recall. Yeah, that, that's the that's the side we miss on. This is setting up well for for Nick. This is a the way the hills. Ooh. Sloped. Yeah, and he he parks it. That was beautiful to watch. Andy, you might be running this. Worth a shot, especially when your miss is 12 feet. <coughs> Definitely running this one. Trying to keep it going. 
Just off the top. Made, made metal connection. Luke's gonna try to go for three in a row here. Yeah. Great birdie. It's a and great to, way to start the back nine. And to take the lead. I uh, I don't look at the scores very much, but that's a that's a big stroke to get. For sure. There we go. Yeah, you hear Nick feels good about that one. He's like, give me the tap in, Brady. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and you're tapping in yourself a par. Which is going to take us to hole nine. One of the more interesting par threes. Very short, 287 feet. It is a blind shot up and over this hill or knoll and taking you all the way down to where you see the basket. Right behind the basket, though, is the second part of the hill, which drops another 25, 30 feet and has a tendency to get discs all the way to that uh, tree line on the back. So, yeah, big challenge hole. Tough to land close. Luke doesn't like it out of his hand. Let's see where he ends up. He ends short and left, just like yesterday. Yeah, he's, uh, he's trying to find his, find his shot on this one. Nick. I think he goes fairway driver here. Oh, that's got to settle. Look at this. It's got to settle. Ooh. That's awesome. See, that's that's the best part about the catch cam right there is we, you know, we get to see what his, you know, where his disc landed and where it actually ended up are way different. Yeah. It's tough to see on a blind hole. I Look don't... at you. Oh, you went for that ace and... Yeah, I go I go super over stable zone there and try to hang it out super wide and honestly it could have went a little wider I guess. It's yeah. You always think you got it out of your hand sometimes and it just doesn't quite work out. Oh, Andy's. same he, thing. That's that's, that's the role. unfortunate because he he knew he liked it out of his hand too. <clears throat> wow. Now you're both left with circle two putts. Luke's right. also got a circle two putt. He wants nothing to do with it. He's just like, settle into the basket, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little fist pump. All right, Andy. Run it, baby. Ooh. That's a great settle, too, though. Yeah, he was getting... Ooh, he really wanted that one, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. I had it, too. I don't blame him. We're trying to chase down Luke at this point right here. Yeah. Left yourself a, a little bit of what I would call a tester, personally. Yeah, definitely uh, taking my time and a little right side, but yeah, snuck it home. Big, big drop behind you, 20-ish foot range. That makes my M3 butt shake a little bit. Nick with another birdie. That's great to see two in a row for Nick now. And Luke with the tap and safe par. He knew it though. He was cheering on his par right yeah. there. He knew it. Great Lakes Disc, located in Grand Rapids, Michigan, is a fully stocked retail disc golf store that fulfills all of your disc golf needs. We carry all of the major manufacturers, accessories, and offer player and event sponsorship, along with tournament payout assistance. To learn more about Great Lakes Disc, Visit GreatLakesDisc.com. All right, hole 10 is 340 feet, a little bit of a low ceiling off the get-go, and we're going uphill the whole way. It is wide open, so you definitely want to attack this one. Nick, what you playing this? I'm going fours here. I just want to try to stick it close, minimize the skip, not throw it too hard. It's only 340, but it probably plays closer to 370. So, you do have to throw it hard. For sure. That's uphill a long way. He's coming up a little short, but he'll be just outside the circle. And then with the way the park lays out, the basket up here is really one of the higher points of the whole park. So, you, if even on a calm day like today, ooh. He's running it for sure. Even on a calm day like today, you still find wind up there. Yeah, yeah, you want to be close. Going more overstable today, I think. Not sure if there was more wind out there, but I like to kind of throw it flat straight at it. And if I land, you know, a little to the right right there, and 
skip just deep. That's just fine. Rare, rare Andrew Marweed at the bottom of the order sighting. See some of the leaves falling on that approach shot, and that's gonna flare up nicely. Get them inside circle one. Yep. See if Nick can give this a good run here. Yeah, give himself a turkey. Clawing back. Get up. Hmm. Drawn metal. From a, from an almost ace to the. One of the further putts. That's yeah. how it goes sometimes. He's he's firing that putt in there though. He's feeling good. He's not worried about it. There we go. So you guys are just sitting one behind Luke at this point. Yeah, in good shape. Feeling good on the birdie. And then this is going to bring us to hole 11. Hole 11 is a rather unique hole, being it's got a late double mando. Uh, so you're teeing off from an elevated tee spot, heading down towards that basket in the middle. And you have to go in between these two trees. Uh, once you do land in that normal you know, circle one, circle two time, there's what I would call moguls by the basket. So you do have a tendency to get a weird flare or skip or uh, interesting ground play, if you will. Yeah, gotta get, gotta get through the trees. Nice. Oh yeah. Luke didn't like it as soon as he let it go. Oh, Missed the man though. Yeah, that does fall into the restricted area, so he'll be going to the drop zone. Going under stable zone here, trying to rip it on the Anheuser. Go a little too wide. And Boom. actually, yeah, two for two on that. Sneaky, tree. sneaky. Um, I'm, I'm okay with it. You know, get me a par. Yeah. They don't ask how you did it. They just ask what your score was. Right. Oh. Andy hits the tree and kicks left. I'm pretty sure he didn't cross the line, so. He's not in the restricted area, so he'll have a real challenging shot coming up. Oh, and... There we go. That was great. That's how we do it. Great shot, Nick. All this right. is this is so tricky. I mean, he's he's got a super tough forehand. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Hits the one branch you see at the left of your screen there, and it kicks him right to the basket. It was honestly off. It was great to see. Luke getting aggressive from the drop zone. Look at you. Get up there. Oh! Yeah, that was uh, that was one I told myself I was going to make before I stepped up. And I really didn't spend much time on that putt, which compared to most, I like to spend, you know, 20 uh -huh. seconds. Showing off a putter. Love it. Yeah. Zach was zooming in on me there. Oh! There was a lot of chains on that one. Yeah, I feel I, for you there, Nick. I don't blame him. Sometimes you just want to sit down. I, I get it. Yeah, you know, and the, uh, the screwed, screwed view. Wow. Yeah, uh, that does happen. We've all been there. Sometimes a uh, putt like that can affect the card too. And the next guy, you, you know. You know, it's a, it, it's a challenging thing and you know as disc golfers we we're out there officiating ourselves as well so yeah. it's our responsibility to maintain our composure on and off the course and you know Nick does well there he you know, definitely didn't say much about it you yeah. know and that's the that's the thing when you just see it sometimes you know yeah. it can be real part tricky. of the game but we got hole 12, it's your stock hyzer shot. It's a little blind, so you kind of just want to get it past that super orange tree on the left there and find yourself inside the circle. And You're just aiming for the birch tree straight off the pad here, right? Yeah, if you can, if you can fall inside those, you're, you're feeling good. 
I ripped this one pretty high. Ooh, settle down now. Yeah, skipped long. It's feeling good after that putt, so yeah, we'll go ahead and throw it outside the circle. Little, deep. little bit of adrenaline. Yeah, why not? Nice and smooth from Andy. Ooh, settle, settle. He wants to come join you. Yeah, look at that roll. I can just do it to you sometimes. You hear that like slight breeze in the camera there. And it goes wide hyzer. Yeah, for left hand wide hyzer or right hand forehand line. I think it got a little flat on him. Just pushed outside the circle, circle two. Luke going Raptor again. This is a good disc for him on this hole. I've seen him. This is... Ooh, settle. Love it. Look at the roll. Just that violent. slope to the parking lot can definitely uh, mess with you sometimes, which is, I think, why Luke goes Raptor, so he can land a little short of the basket easier. Well, that makes sense. You're not going to get as big a skip off of something like that either. Just outside, running this one. Hmm. Ooh, he knew that. Well done. It's a great birdie. Kind of a slow back nine for him, so that's good to see. There you go. Luke recovering from the bogey Fires on the last hole, down. too. Hopefully you tap in here. There we go. Yep. And we see Nick's disc there as well on the ground. So we'll be able to tap him in for par as well. Which is going to bring us to hole 13. Hole 13 is a par 3 all the way up a hill with a OB bush on the left. And the final, you know, circle one and a half range, if you will. And just to add a little bit more difficulty, we've... We've got Mount Kilimanjaro out there with a basket on top of it. And always fun. Kind of that same cross breeze comes across the 10, also comes across that basket too. So it's always interesting to see how people attack this green. Nice drive from Andy there. Yeah, he, uh, lands just inside the circle, avoiding that OB bush. He'll be in good shape. Luke's going to go nuke here, I believe, and just really try to spike it in. He might have told it to go out of his hand. Mm. And you see why. I think he's yeah. just a little outside the bushes. I go super overstable here and just try to hang it wide. This one, you can pretty much throw it as hard as you want. Uh, with any overstable disc in your Ooh, bag. and what a great settle. That's that's the type of putts I like to have in an elevator basket. My favorite putt on this hole, because this, this rock, and when it's windy, it you almost just lay up if you're outside. Oh, yeah, for sure. You're going to gain strokes on people. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Looks like Nick's outside of circle one. Oh, wow. Gets a lot of chains. Looks like he's maybe just inside circle one. Oh, gets the rim. There we go. No problem. And you can see how calm it is today. It's so beautiful for state championships and end of October. Yeah, we really did luck out with the weather as the, the TDI was just so happy there was no snow. And then the, the 70 degrees was a huge bonus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, I mean, I remember playing in the state championships on Labor Day weekend in Ludington years and years and years ago where we were playing in sweatpants. And, oh, yeah. And you never know. And gloves and yep. fighting the snow. So this All right. time of year, I love it. Our final hole is uh, par 14, or sorry, hole 14, par 3. That would be interesting if it was a par 14. 261 feet downhill. Uh, you do want to avoid the uh, 
left side of circle two and it is awfully thick over there. And Andrew's going to go right at it. It's like Annie out of his hand. Makes the correction from yesterday. And parks it. Wow. Yeah. That was a great shot. He's like, I don't want to putt. This is my last hole. You put the putter away. I'm going Raptor here. It's Dust Tour Series. Trying to get a little closer than yesterday. Dive in there. All right. Yeah, I think I landed in the little creek there. Yeah, that's that's circle one. Sorry to Brewer Park for painting the circle one on the, on the bridge. My fault. Luke is ripping the Athena here. Yeah. Wanting it to fight back. Come on. Hmm. This is a, this hole sets up well for Nick. Going right at it. Coming up short. Oh, man. I, I think that was a helpful tree. Yeah, that's inside circle two. Luke in a good spot. We can run this. Settle. There we go. Luke is wondering why the the wind picked his disc up there. You know, we don't see any breeze all day and catches one there. Yep, on the final hole, of course. Oh. Yeah. It's a, 14's a great one to finish on, and if you can snag that birdie, it definitely feels like a bonus on the last hole of the day, so. Luke for his par. Andrew for the birdie here. Yeah, great drive. I'm gonna tap this one in. Love to see it, love to see it. Andy, 23 under par. Got myself at 22 under par. Tapping in this par here. Luke, 21. We're battling. Yep. Nick didn't have a great front nine, but Nick also ended up with a pretty solid back nine. No bogeys. This is the conclusion of round two, back nine. We're going to have a new player on lead card tomorrow. When we come back for round three, front nine, it's going to be Jared Stoll, who shot himself a neg 12 today to jump up a few spots. Yep. Got Ian with a nice 11 down. Austin Bates jumping up the board as well. Yeah, Austin Ooh. shot a neg one day one and then a neg 11 day two. Love to see it. Thank you to our Patreon family. We've got some great supporters there. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm Brian Papa Wolf Frawley signing off. I'm Nick Hill. Thanks for having me, Brian. Anytime. Awesome. We'll see you back here for round three.